Hi folks, let me introduce you our latest project, this tablet stand. We have this 7 inch Nessus tablet and we can just drop it in and it's steady place for it. And tada, we have a built in charger. As the Nessus tablet has a wireless charging possibility, this carrier will charge the tablet anytime you drop it in. This is especially useful as we have small children and we don't want them messing around with cables. So let's see how we have built this object. We started by designing the object in SketchUp. My idea here was to use the same kind of wood for each part of this object. This is the remote charger built in this wood frame. The most important part was this width, the width of the tablet. This determines the width of the wood here. The next thing I want to mention is that you do not have to be very precise in this project. The overall size is not really matters. If there are some millimeters off in a direction, it's not that a big deal. The only thing you have to take care of is that this width have to match with the length of this piece. As we have designed it to have a special size of lumber, I need to prepare the wood. As I've mentioned before, only the width matters of this wood, the height does not. Cut the pieces to size. Clean up the burr. Cut the angel piece. First I have glued the angel piece to the front vertical piece. Use the actual charger spacer, but take good care for the 90 degrees. Then glue the back vertical piece. After that was set, the side piece is glued to place. I use the ruler here to keep the intended angel. Sanding the edges. We have applied several coats of paint. This is the first coat of water based paint. Sanding the painted surface. Second coat of paint. I have a hat here by sanding before the lacquer. Applied a water based lacquer. This is how I have glued the charger in the frame. I use silicone as glue. Somehow this thing is rocks. So I don't know how does it happen, but I will fix it with this soft adhesive tape. Yes, I want to leave this thing always on, so I decided to make some measurements. Here you can see that the power outlet unit doesn't really drain anything without the load. Here I feed 5 volt power from my benchtop power supply. You can see that by charging the setup drains about 2 watts and in standby mode about 1 watt. As the stand will stay most of the time in the standby mode, 
I will expect some one or two dollars cost for the electrical drain for a year. As a good measure, I've measured the drain of the wireless charger unit without the load. You can see some spikes in the load. Hmm, that's strange. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.